Hi, I'm Sean Lee, and today we're going to be going over a new product called the Speed Mic. So instead of a, a typical micrometer like this, I'm taking a measurement and I have to put a block in or whatever I happen to be measuring. One thing I have to do is change the, the measuring spot. Okay, so I measure the thickness of this block. So I measure the thickness of the block and it's 0 0.353, this guy here. Now, if I want to measure the thickness of the block that way, I have to sit here and turn and turn and turn and turn and turn. So it takes quite a long time to do this. And if you're measuring multiple things, Say you have 50 things to measure, this is going to take a while. Okay. All right, I finally get out there and I put it back together. Okay, and I'm measuring 1.0009, okay. which this is a one inch block. So Now, an easier way to do this is with the speed mic. So I can simply open the tool up, put the block in, and let it go. And now I get 1.00015. So just as accurate, but a lot faster. And if I want to measure the thickness this way, I simply pull and let it go. And I've got 0.35000. All right. So it's a lot faster for especially mass production to measure with this than with the traditional one, but just as accurate. Okay. And the uh, measuring blocks I'm actually measuring with here, that we also sell this. This is a, a stainless steel set, which is set for 20 degrees Celsius. Um, we sell a ceramic set as well, um, both for you know, checking your tools uh, to, to uh, make sure everything is accurate. Now, another cool feature about the speed mic, we have uh, a foot trigger and a hand trigger. So if you're sitting here, let's say, measuring this block, taking that off and then measuring another block there, while we can run a, a cord to the computer so that when you push the, uh, the button on the block, it will record the data, that takes a hand to do that. So, and often you're holding a block with one hand and you are turning with the other hand so you don't have a third hand so we have a foot trigger that you can put and push the button anytime you see a measurement set you just click, simply click with your foot and it sends the measurement to the computer then you can move on to the next block now with the old way of doing it you're still you know, moving in and out a, a large range and if we used the speed mic instead so we'll go ahead and mount that up here so you mount the speed rock speed mic on this guy and now I can uh, simply put the block in there and I would click the, the floor trigger okay. I put the block in there and click the foot trigger and then I would go into the next measurement put that in there click the foot trigger so that's uh, at least uh, four times more efficient to connect the uh, gauge to your computer um, and uh, use the foot trigger here, you simply uh, pull this little tab up on the top and place the connector into the speed mic. Okay. And the other end of the connector you want to put into the hand switch. It'll only go in one way. And then next to where the connector goes in, you'll see there's a little uh, round circle there. Pull that little plug out and you'll see there's a, a mini plug. The mini plug from the foot trigger will plug into that. Okay. And then the other end of the hand trigger, you'll see there's a USB. And that USB goes to your computer where you can record the data. So once this is hooked up and you are uh, taking a measurement, you can either push the button on the block and it will transmit the data, or you can push the foot trigger. So whichever you prefer at the time. Um, but the foot trigger makes it very handy since you don't have to use your hands 
to actually reach over and push the button, you can you know be holding what you're measuring with one hand and the measuring tool with the other hand. Okay, you have uh, inches and millimeters here, and then you have the uh, ABS slash zero, which that will set your uh, set your zero point. So if I uh, open this guy up and then I push that, see the screen there, I can zero it out. Okay, now I've zeroed it out, and now you'll actually have a negative measurements if you come back, or positive measurements if you go to the other side. Now if you want to reset it back to the origin, simply go up there, and push the button to reset it to zero.